Okay, guys, this is my Guadalajara, and uh, I need to get rid of that little please stand by text. There we go. All right. Here I am. Hey, hi. Hey, Borch, how are you doing? I am doing okay. Hey, I just want to ask you, how was your weekend? Uh, why? Just, just curious. How was your weekend? I don't remember what I did on the weekend. Did I do something? Oh, you... Did you do something? Well, it's, well, I had a terrible weekend. Oh, that yeah. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, some asshole tried to rob me. Oh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, I mean, I posted shit on Twitter, posted video and stuff, and it was just... Ugh. Dude, it ended up biting me while I'm on the phone to 911. That was really fun. Ah, that is yep. crazy, man. Except not really. It wasn't fun at all. It hurt like hell. I'm still a little sore, by the way, from that. You have a right to be. <laughs> mm. Both emotionally oh. and physically. Oh, yeah. So hopefully beating the crap out of things as Carol <laughs> might just help me out here. Might be a little <laughs> bit of video little, games. Yeah, a little bit of therapy here. A little bit of a de-stressor, as oh, video games yeah. are so good at. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Anyway, uh, you should probably let people know what we're streaming. <laughs> I know the Discord house has an automatic uh, bot that uh, lets people know I'm streaming, but I need to talk, get the barge pad and all your all your places. We got to hit up all your places. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, this is gonna be boring as hell. Not having anybody to talk to. Wait, wait. Never mind. I'm sorry. You're here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a ghost. Yes, just a ghost. ghost. You're a ghost. All in your imagination. There's nobody to talk to. Nobody. Yes. None. Silch. Yes, you're just an audio projection. You're an auditory uh, hallucination that everybody can hear in my stream. And only in my stream. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost of Mike Who's stream. I love it. I love it a lot, actually. Yeah. Alright, anyway, I'm going to start Final Dreadnought. Round three. And I'm already getting my butt handed to me. That's that's good. No, it isn't. All right, got a motorcycle. Awesome. Anyway, uh, apart from what happened to me over the weekend, something else happened over the weekend that I want to talk about, and uh, that is uh, Alexis Arquette passing away. That kind of hit me pretty hard, and I want to tell you why. You know, Alexis was one of the first people, uh, transgendered people, that I came to accept. I watched her on The Surreal Life, and there was an episode where they had to do a, a news broadcast, and after news broadcast, she was relentlessly picked on by some patrons at a bar, and uh, that was... And, you know, me being bullied at, at school and stuff, I kind of related to Alexis and what she was going through. So, you know, Alexis Arquette was really the first person to make me uh, accept the transgendered community. And if it weren't for her, I wouldn't be, you know, friends with some of the people I'm friends with now. I wouldn't be able to accept uh, Chaz Bono or Caitlyn Jenner like I do. I wouldn't be able to accept my ex-girlfriend, who's now a trans man, like I do. And, and I wouldn't be able to accept some of the uh, talk housers in the... like I do. So, I owe Alexis Arquette a lot of gratitude and a lot of thanks. And I'm sorry I didn't say it when she was still alive. And that's really what I wanted to say. Absolutely. <clears throat> I 
Unfortunately, I don't have too much to say myself. I, uh, didn't really know them as an actress. Although I'm looking at her filmography right now, and she's done a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I had no idea she was in Bride of Chucky. And I watched Bride of Chucky. I didn't actually catch the very beginning of Bride of Chucky, but uh, I came pretty close. But I didn't see that part where her character dies. Let me pull up the stream here and see what you're up to. Uh, you know what uh, level text you had kept popping up? I'm seeing you get destroyed by turrets right now. That's funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I died. <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Oh, really? Oh, really what? It's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Not really. <laughs> That's it. That's what I should have done. Just use that sweet, sweet kick. Exactly. Kick is the most OP ability, man. You gotta use that shit constantly. Yeah. I told you when we first started up Carol's story that if you didn't learn how to use the kick really fast, you were gonna have problems. <laughs> and uh, you are proving to be some sort of prophet. <sighs> <laughs> Some sort of soothsayer. <laughs> it's like it's like going into Dark Souls and not knowing about rolling mm. and how useful it is in that game. It's actually very similar, honestly, because you still get invincibility frames. So if you don't learn how to roll, you're gonna be having a bad time. <laughs> yeah, Luca Trooper goes. Hmm, the only movie I might have seen Alexis in would have been Pulp Fiction. Might have caught the episode of Californication she was, incidentally. Wait, she was in Pulp Fiction? Yeah. Uh, she was playing a dude who was trying to kill, uh... What's his face? The John Travolta and, uh... And, uh, Samuel Jackson characters. Okay, so... I would have watched that movie. Because does I actually do like that movie a lot. Yeah, does Marcellus look like a bitch? <laughs> Oh, oh, she was uh, the guy that Samuel Jackson was interrogating. Uh, no, he, no, she was the guy hiding, in, hiding behind with the gun. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you now. Interesting. God damn these turrets. Also, a hello to everybody in our chat. Pichu, Doovy, Luca Troopa. How y'all doing? <laughs> so, my family has made plans within, I believe, the next few days, and I shall be going to Olive Garden. And it'll be like the first time that I'm going and I'm able to like actually convince myself I'm going to like something other than the breadsticks because I'm a picky eater as some of you may know. But I was looking at the menu and I found it very, 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 very appetizing to just look at what their descriptions of their shrimp and calamari. Because both of those look amazing on their menu. Yeah, I'm not a I'm not a big seafood guy. Can't eat seafood. I'm not a big fan of too much of it, but I do like the small crunchy stuff. Like the more breading, the better to me. The small crunchy stuff. Okay. Because I mean, like popcorn chicken is amazing. Popcorn shrimp is amazing. Oh yeah, popcorn chicken is like the shit, yo. Oh god. I always talk about this whenever popcorn chicken is brought up, but like McDonald's used to have popcorn chicken and they used to come in these little containers and they had spicy popcorn chicken 
That was like my favorite thing ever. But they just got rid of it and they never came back with it. I, I'm still it, wondering if it's okay to eat a McChicken. <laughs> it probably is. Stuff like that happens like one in a million, Maiku. Mm -hmm. One in a million. Here, let me see if I can find a picture of it to show the chat, because... Okay. What just happened here? Yeah, these packages. Oh, this stuff. I love it. I love it so much. Oh, man. <laughs> it was so amazing, and the containers were really nicely designed. Just, I wish they would bring it back. McDonald's is absolutely the place that I eat like most often at, just because it's the closest place to uh, where I live. I mean, I have, I have a McDonald's that right, that's right next door to my work. I haven't really been there as much lately since I got a car. So I've been, you know, going to, well, you know where I've been going to. <laughs> Luca Trippa in chat says, I don't eat food, so I can't relate. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you do you live do you live off a of feeding tube or something? Photosynthesis. Mm -hmm. Photosynthesis. Yeah. <laughs> Don't judge. <laughs> Sorry to hear that you've had a rough day. By the way, Peachy. Slight depression situation going on with Luca Trupa. Sorry to hear about that as well. Everybody's going through their own shit. Yeah. Well, at least your weekend was better than mine. I can tell you that much. It's not every day that you almost get your brains bashed in with a hammer. Just saying. Man, this this portion of the Wow, I'm I'm having my butt handed to me in more ways than one, and I'm Golly, I just game over it, Borch. Let me see, where, where are you gonna game over at? So this part is all about just running away as fast as possible, if I'm seeing this right. Oh god, you got pile-drived! <laughs> oh yeah, most definitely. And I got a motorcycle, lost a motorcycle. Came and went like the yeah. wind. All right, gosh, turn it. Run, 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 run. Okay, I'm in a new part of the world now. That's always good. That is always good. Also, Luca Trupa, I gotta say, <laughs> it's it's kind of funny to figure out like who you are every single time because you actually change your uh, username across like all the services. So I've thought that you're like three separate people for like the longest time. Just because I completely and totally think that like everybody uses just the same username everywhere. Just because that's the way I've been. And most people have been. <laughs>
Huh. Lat is legion. Lat is eternal. <laughs> I agree with this. Lat is everything, and everything is lat. Yes. Hmm. Anyway, it looks like. Oh dear. Anyway. So what I've been up to lately is I've been watching a ton of uh, video essays. Have you? Awesome. Especially on video game design in general. I watched oh. a lovely video the other day from Super Bunny Hop where they were talking about... What was it? It was talking about the first level in every Sonic game. And talking about like how some of them get it exactly right and some of them get it exactly wrong. And it was interesting to see their thoughts on each successive game. They pretty much denounced like Sonic Adventure like right out the gate as like a terrible game in today's world. Which is always kind of fun to me because I've, I've got a soft spot in that game from my heart. Most people I think have a soft spot in their heart for, like, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, even if, in actuality, objectively, they're probably terrible games. Yeah, well, I do... I did get uh, Sonic Adventure 2 for the Dreamcast, and that's actually the first Sonic game I owned. So it does have some sentimental value with me. That is an interesting one to start in on. Well, I mean, you know, I have... Oh, Maiku, I... have, you, have you never played uh, any of the Retro Sonics? I would love if you would play those on stream sometime, if you haven't. Well, I've played Sonic 1, and we had that Sonic 2 race that uh, got uh, trashed. So Sonic 3 is, like, the best one, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Have you ever played that one? Yeah, I've played Sonic 3. I've played Sonic and Knuckles and... Okay, never mind that then. Stuff. Anyway. You um, played all the good stuff. Hey, uh, I also see that you're on Mila, by the way, yes. Yes. Anyway, Borch, you want to you wanna switch to the Borch pad? We need to... Uh, sure. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So that maybe we can get some more people popping in. Doovy, 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 okay, doovy. And that's my Ben Stein impression, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, I'm here now. Hello, how are you, Doovy? I'm doing... Yeah, that's that's how I'm... That's my current state of being. Just continuing. I mean, it's better than any... It's better than some things, you know? Yeah, did you, did you have a good weekend? Actually, I did. Good. I actually streamed Spooky's House of Jump Scares at, like, on Sunday. That's hilarious think... that you're doing that. I'm actually... Well, actually, I've... There are a couple of things... A couple of notes. Um, It's not Spooky's House of Jump Scares. It's Spooky's Sandcastle of Land Sharks. Right. Oh, really? No, seriously. That's one of the fucking title screen gags that it does. <laughs> Number two, people were amazed at the fact that I was not getting creeped the fuck out by the game. Because it does have really good atmosphere and really good level design, but like, you know, I've just got higher tolerance, tolerance to horror than most people would think I do. And I'm just about sitting there cracking jokes. Well, I you kind of live in a place where horrible stuff happens in movies. Hmm. So. Personally, I don't, like, I don't think that Sonic Adventure 2 is a good game, but I think that it's, like, 6 out of 10, 7 out of 10 material. It's not terrible. It's not that. Really... That would be rated as a good game, in my opinion. Mm. Eh, fair enough. Well, I Unless was... Unless you're going by the IGN scale, which in that no, case No, 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 that's shit. not bad. I'm saying, like, 6 out of 10 is about an okay game. Just leading towards being good, but not quite there yet. Like, if we go by the actual scale, then 5 is average. 5 nothing is great, average. Nothing bad about it. Yeah, and that's how I rate, generally. 6 is generally, like, slightly better than 
Average. So it sounds like you'd rather rate it a six, really. Because seven is leaning towards, like, this is a good game. Yeah, but, like, honestly, the Chow Garden is a solid eight. And that's... Oh, awesome. my yeah. God. Yeah, I, I have a, a Chow I've raised and just... Oh, my God. Solid eight or nine. Like, I rate a ten as this game is going to be is definitely ranked up there with some of my favorites. I enjoy a good majority of my time spent on this game. And I have Almost trouble every. seeing the flaws. Almost every second, really. Yeah. Luka Troopa's first Sonic game was a combination cartridge with Sonic Battle and one of the Sonic Advances. That's a good entry. Yeah. I don't know about Sonic Battle, because I've never actually seen, like, footage on it, but Sonic Advance is a decent game. I played it on stream, and that was an enjoyable time, for the most I, part. That makes me remember, um, so the Game Grumps, re like, recently on fucking Steam Train, advertised this, like, one-man project to create oh, this- I saw that, I loved that! I know, dude! Uh, like, it's so cool. But that rem like, I real- like, I remembered something. When I was a kid in the fucking library, there was this Sonic fully rendered 3D world game that you could just run around in and beat Robotnik's baddies and just do whatever. It was on PC, and I don't know whether it was legit or not, but it played like fucking butter. It played smooth. Was it isometric? No. Hmm. It was fully 3D, like, third-person camera. It would have had to have been Sonic Adventure 1, perhaps? Because that's on no, PC. No, 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 no. it's not... It was not that. It was, like... Number one, it was around 2003. I think Sonic Adventure 1 got ported way later to PC. Uh, number two, it did not... Its function did not... It, its engine did not function the same way as Sonic Adventure 1, and it had a Green Hill Zone map. Sonic R? No, 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 no. Not like a racing game. Just like a fucking explorative uh, adventure. Just so y'all know, I beat Mila. It's very good. Yay! <laughs> yeah, I'm still here. I exist. Game Grumps are indeed, of course, still kicking. Still one of the top guys. Yeah, they're actually growing, to be honest. And even though I haven't been enjoying a lot of their content lately, I checked out that they're checking out of that Sonic fan game, and I just found it, like, really, really touching. Especially since, like, <laughs> they've had a history of, like, hating on Sonic a lot, so... Yeah, to see them actually, like, pick out this one little fan project that actually shows a little bit of promise. And I'm tell... almost expecting Sega to, like, pick that up, by the way. Considering that, that Sega did that for Sonic Mania, I'm thinking that they're gonna do the same thing for that. Yeah, I could totally imagine that. It, it would be hilarious if Sega just, like, completely, like, hires, like, a whole bunch of fan game developers to continue Sonic's legacy, just because Sonic Mania is doing so well. Well, it could... There are a few things. Hey, Lunatic Quark, what's happening? Good to hey, see Luna you Hey, Anyway, um, oh, when I was... Oh, Luna Q, baby, I love you, Luna Q. Okay, I think this is getting a little weird. Let's let's move back to the Sonic thing. Yes. <laughs> you started it. I believe you started it, my Q. Well, yeah, well, I just well, said, said Luna hi, Luna Q. Q. I said Looney Q. Like, hey, Looney. Yes. As in, like, the nickname that everyone has for Lunatic. Looney. Also, speaking... Also, I would like to point out that there is a collector's edition that is on Amazon for a pre-order for Sonic Mania, and it looks amazing if you want to look it yeah, up. Yeah, you kept on showing it. Send it to chat, though. Uh, like, sure. You kept on showing it in Warchpad. Send it to chat, dude. Looks amazing. It is awesome. So, it comes with a Sonic statue standing on a Mega Drive. It comes with a ring, the game downloadable, and the box looks amazing. I had this thing about boxes. If a box looks really, really good, I love it. Let's 
Lat says, I won't be satisfied until Sega hires the folks behind the Sonic RPGs on Newgrounds with the Final Fantasy style battles. Uh, you mean the ones no. that get blammed? Yeah, I like, dude, I actually want that now. now that the only know. thing is that I almost think that, like, Sega is just like, oh no, we will not do another RPG. Never again. There. What was the RPG of Sonic again? Sonic and the Dark Brotherhood. And it did horribly for them. I've I never even heard of Dark Brotherhood. So the thing about Dark Brotherhood, especially for me, is that like I've never even really played the game that much. But I looked into the soundtrack, and it was it was plagiarized from like past Sonic games, but done badly. Like they poured it in like MIDI tune. Yeah, you were showing us an example in one of your streams once. I remember this. So basically, they just did it in the most ass sound font they could find. Oh yeah, it it was like nostalgic, amazing <laughs> music done in like the sound fo like done, done by in somebody the... who doesn't understand music software. Like that's the conclusion that I came to. Done by the sound tr like it was done by the guy who made the All Star MIDI, and it was it's funny because it was saying. actually. Like, Dark Brotherhood was actually done, developed by Bioware. So let's, it Let's almost... saying that Dark Brotherhood was alright. So... Yeah, I hear, like, mixed things about it. it... Lad is saying it wasn't... Won't say it's a good game either, but it was... Me. So that's kind of middling. Yeah, but honestly, middling isn't a bad thing. Five out of ten. <laughs> see, let me go back to the stream here and see where you're at, Maiku. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're struggling. You're struggling. Really big through, lasers. Uh, the big laser. I love this hazard so much. Really big robots! Um, Maiku, um... Do the... So, Speaking of really big robots and Copy Kitty as a whole, um, have you seen the final boss of the current run of the game? Like, the current I, state? I, game? I haven't yet. I've been posting my progress on Steam with all those screenshots. Okay, um, I'm not going to say anything. Just know that the title of it is Really, Really Big Robots. Also, I'm going to be posting in chat here a little bit of a, a video essay that I also enjoyed where uh, somebody just brings the general populace in on what exactly is up with Sonic Mania and who is developing it. Shit. The fan game developers that are behind the game. It's a really neat little retrospective. I even learned a little bit myself. Dude, the Archie Sonic stuff was good. Like the Archie comics with Sonic? Those were funny. I'd imagine that Archie Sonic has gone through various stages of being good and bad, though. Like, you understand, that comic series has been, like, going around for, like, probably, like, hundreds of issues now. Yeah, that is true. Oh, well. So you're saying the comic has hundreds of issues? <laughs> yeah. Hey! <laughs> and it's yeah. only got one episode! But um, tish Shit! All right, waiting for the shit moment. And there it is. Okay, so, um, back to the topic of that fucking mysterious Sonic game. I know for a fact it wasn't a fever dream because I played it like six times every time that my mother dragged me to her fucking belly dancing class in the goddamn. South Old Library, I, every single fucking time, I played that stupid game on that PC. And I was like, dude, I, I just want to play this Sonic game. It doesn't, like, I didn't even, I don't even fucking remember the title. All I remember is how it played, and how it was fun as hell to play. If you see how a screenshot, would you recognize it? Yeah, that's not it. That's not it. You didn't have a follower. It was, like, rendered in fucking... It was rendered in, like, 64-bit at most. So, I'm just gonna straight up... Wait, was it the Doom engine? 
No. Sonic fan game? Sonic Robo Blast 2? It was not in the Doom engine. It was, like I said, third person camera. Yeah, it was, that's what the Sonic Robo Blast 2 is. That's first engine, that's first person. No, 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 the game is actually played in third person. Uh, let me look up a better screenshot, because that's just showing off the, uh, Why did the it come out, though? I'm heading towards Brevin. Because this was in, like, the mid to late 2000s. Not in, like, the 2010s or anything. We are in a cutscene. No it's a very short cutscene, though. Okay, cutscene over. Alright, so yeah, no, that is not it, because it had fully... I'm pretty sure that it had fully 3D rendered. Because like, the, the, interesting, the interesting thing is that, like, what you're telling me, it's gotta be a fan game, because, like, I know everything that's on PC for Sonic. Alright, like, hold on. Send that game... Like, send that fucking fan, Doom Engine fan game to me, because it, like... I'm starting to think, wait, like, the environment totally looks like that game. Like, even down to the, like, the blackish water. But, like, what I could have... I could have... you want? Yeah. You want the website that it's hosted on? Yeah. Oh, sure. Because, because like, the environment totally looks exactly like the fucking environment from the game that I played. But, like, I could have sworn that they were fully 3D rendered character models. But I get, like, I was young enough to not really rec be able to recognize the difference between that and, like, really highly detailed 3D emulating sprites. Sonic Robo Blast 2 is interesting. I'm actually kind of, like, lat on it. I'm like, it's neat. It's, it's an interesting little experiment. It's not great. <laughs> From what I've seen, anyway. I might have to pick it up and try it out. I could have sworn that it was good when I, when I, like, played it as a kid. But then again, I guess I'll be the judge of that now. Yeah, you can definitely just make the mistake of, like, thinking that something is good. And it's really not once you actually, uh... Well, here's the thing. Um, when I was a kid, I kept on, at, like, falling in the trappings of getting shovelware crap over yeah. actually good games. And then, like... The thing is, though, I was somehow smart enough to recognize, hey, wait a second, this is a badly designed game, even when I was a little kid. Like, I could give you so many fucking examples, like... Like the Jake Long American Dragon DS game, the Princess Natasha fucking Game Boy Advance game, Death Jr. and the Science Fair of Doom. Yeah, that's actually the name of a game. <laughs> Had my mom buy for me. Lad is talking about a Doom and Sonic crossover webcomic. I have never seen it, but I can imagine that it exists. If yeah, you tell uh, me that anything like, involving Sonic and fan works exists, then I will probably believe you. <laughs> to be honest, even if it doesn't exist and it involves Sonic in some way, it will exist. Hey, Mike, you remember when you had tons of trouble with this boss as Lilac? Yes. You're not really having that much trouble with it. Oh, boy. Oh, you just beat it. Good job. Although yeah. the, second, the second form is way harder, though. That's true. <laughs> yeah, I could have sworn that, like, the first form was the one that gave Mike the most guff. Well, they all gave me trouble. Yeah, but, like, the first form was the worst of the bunch. Because you, like, got 16 game overs on it, I remember. And we, like, yeah, it was... and Borch left! <laughs> Before yeah. I even beat Brevin! <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Like, it was me and Skips, and then you fucking beat Brevin. Like, and Stay, we in. were... Stay inside of the bubble, Maiku. <laughs> Just keep bubbling, just keep bubbling. 
Whenever you see that green aura, just stay inside of the bubble. Or run far away. Both are options. Run, run, run as fast as you can! I've got a mean advisor to play on! Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry about whatever that was, but, uh, uh -huh. it's... <laughs> was this about origami? What? I thought you said something about origami. I... I think I said I'm kinda mean. I've devised a plan that, um... Like, basically... I was fucking... I was singing the theme song to the literal... I, one of the literal worst movies that I have ever witnessed. So the webcomic that Lat was talking about is called There's Something About Tales. Oh! Oh, interesting. Oh, God. <laughs> My goo, stop running into it! Borch keeps telling you, stay out of the green zone. Or or go into the center of it because you can actually there, there's a blind spot in the center of like the attack. Mm -hmm. yeah, oh, I was trying okay. to find it. Oh, there we go. GD Specter is now in. Hey, uh, GD Specter. Is that someone that we recognize, or is that someone? Nobody I recognize. It's, but a, they might it's have, some rando. But they might have come in from hey, just randos. <laughs> Just come in from seeing uh, just Freedom Planet being played. Yeah, and that's fine. Oh, damn it! Didn't get in, in the center on time. This is certainly a sprite webcomic, by the way, lad. This reminds me of mm. like all of the sprite webcomics that like were ever made, of varying levels of goodness, and none of them excellent. <laughs> Actually, you're. You're kind of incorrect on that one. Um, there is one good sprite comic. Pepsi Man? <laughs> I was making a joke, sorry. No, that wasn't... That's not it, but yes. That is a good sprite comic. Quit, Brevin. Quit moving around. I need to get one, at least one hit on you, damn it. <laughs> God let, damn it. Come on. Just let me kick you in the face. It, it'll be Come really on, quick. Come on, Brevin! Come on! God damn it, Brevin! In Sonic Mia actually sounds familiar. I think I was actually on the web... I was actually browsing the website that these were on, Luca. I think I remember the website that they were on, too. It was a very green website. Very web 2.0. Oh my god, I'm remembering it now. I read those web comics. Oh! <laughs> 8 bit theater was okay, even in retrospect, says Luca Trupa. So, when I was talking about like how all sprite comics are awful, I was referring specifically to like the Sonic ones. Obviously, anything else that was made, I would not know about. Because I was a Sonic fanboy kid. <laughs> So on my own personal adventures in Free the Planet, I'm actually kind of working on the idea of just unlocking all of the achievements in this game. Because it's got some fun ones. It's got some fun ones here and there. Yeah, you speedrunning demon, you. Oh my god. That was I mean, still amazing. I will always brag about that. They have this achievement to beat the game in less than 90 minutes. And I beat the game, then I got to the final screen and it was like, you got the achievement. If you had spent three seconds longer in the game, you wouldn't have gotten the achievement. You just what was... scraped by. Basically. Yeah. What was the achievement more... again? Beat the game in under 90 minutes. Oh, Jesus. You gotta be pretty fast. You gotta be pretty fast. I loved it, though. Uh, I know what achievement I won't be getting. <laughs> that one? That one. 
<laughs> Why not? <laughs> you could always try, especially since you've actually been playing this game a lot. You could probably do it speedily if you get, like, really, really, uh, good at it. Plus, I was speedrunning on casual difficulty, so I was invincible. <laughs> That's why I got to do it to begin with. It would have been much, much harder if I had actually stuck, like, a difficulty that was actually something. But casual difficulty is pretty good. Hmm. Stay in that bubble, stay in that bubble. Gonna make some trouble. I was also messing with this other game the other night that was kind of interesting. Mute Crimson Plus. A game that I haven't seen like almost anybody else talk about on Steam, but it oh. actually looked decent. I know Wilhart did an LP of that. Maiku decided to get me two fucking $5 games just patiently waiting, sitting on my Steam wish list. As Maiku does. Why do you do this to your poor wallet? You really could improve your quality of life if you weren't spending <laughs> so much money on games for your friends. Like, I appreciate it, but at the same yeah. time, I think you spend too much on your friends. Anyway, gotta yeah, cut scene. Gotta cut scene. Gotta cut scene. It's a short one, and we've already seen it. <laughs> but not as Carol. I'd like to see I guess. Uh. Okay. I just gotta remember his pattern. If I can remember his pattern, I'm golden. Exactly. Up oh, here we go. Woo, woo, woo. And he comes back up to get me. Bombs, toss, dagger. Okay. He shoots laser, then the dagger, then he throws bombs again, then he tosses me, he shoots another laser, then a dagger. Attack, then he does that little green wave attack that I really don't like. You really just have to learn how to, like, not move for it. <laughs> I'm trying not really... to. I'm trying not all you to. Have, all you have to do is stand still for the first one, and then move slightly to the left when he goes down, and then just stand still when he goes right. <laughs> That's literally all you have to do. Stand still for the left one. Move slightly to the left with that version. There you go. You did it. Congratulations. Well, like, <laughs> he did manage to get a hit on me. So, and a freaking green wave attack. Blah. Blah. Got me. It got no, me. No, yeah. Robo Black got 2 me. was definitely the one in the library. Which makes me wonder, why did that come pre-installed on a computer in a public library? Probably somebody just installed it because they thought it was fun. Like, maybe one of the teachers did it. And I mean, like, it's freeware, so it's easy to install. That is true, but like... There was just a Sonic fan. Or maybe it was one of the developers. That would have been fun. Yeah. And, like, stealthily advertising their game by yeah, installing that's it what, in the that's library. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I admire your way of thinking, Borch, sometimes. Thank you. When's the Sonic X EXP Y experience, I guess? Gonna let me play as something without a spine. I mean, like, that probably exists. Let me see. How does that exist? I mean, like, you got Sonic the Fighters. You can play as a giant bird. <laughs> you can play as all of the fucking things that you need to. Actually, that, I just realized something, like... Oh wait, do you mean spine is in the bone? Yeah, he means with, like... I uh, thought they it meant like the head spikes. Yeah. They uh, mean without a spine. Ah, okay, without a spine. Oh, uh, I thought you were like talking about somebody who is chicken shit or something. No, an invertebrate. Like, a trilobite, or like, fucking... Or jellyfish? Yeah, jellyfish. I mean, like, alligators don't have spines, do they? I mean, like, yes! people... Okay. I guess I don't know I which characters do and Charmy, don't have. Charmy is a bee, and bees don't have spines, I don't believe. There we go. Ah, uh, dang it. Game over! I should get back to fighting Brevin in a sec. Yeah, bees are arthropods. Which means that they have an exoskeleton implying no spine. So Charmy, who is playable in Sonic, Sonic Heroes, don't forget it. Kind of. 
You wouldn't yeah. really want to want to play that game terribly much. It was kind of funny because Sonic the Heroes was all right. like Sonic Heroes was pretty fucking good though. Uh, so the thing about Sonic Heroes is that it starts out amazingly, but the more you go in, the more terrible it actually is, especially in the late game levels. Yeah, but like the thing is, it. Do you remember the late game, or do you only remember the early game? That's the question. Like, does level seven count as late game? Because I'm pretty sure, like. You know, the Haunted Mansion level, the puzzle level, that level was actually pretty fucking well-designed. Like, fun to play. If I remember correctly. So what kind of animal are you talking about, Luke? Flat. <laughs> oh my god. Like, an actual- like, something that's not just, like, a fucking hybrid. Something like an actual crab. It's not, like, insecto mammal. So. Oh, just an actual. Okay, animal. I'm like, I got him down to a quarter health. So, I'm, like, I'm almost positive that there's, like, a Sonic ROM hacks where you could play as, like, an actual hedgehog. <laughs> or a spider. Oh, God! I'm so close to defeating him! Damn it! Ah! Man, you are so close, ah! dude! Hey, at least you can, you know, ah! you can make it. Ah! Oh. Oh no! Uh, Holy crap, Maiku! You oh had one more hit. <laughs> that was awful. All you had to do was spin kick. I was oh, trying to spin kick. I was. I was trying to. Don't rag on Maiku that much, man. He he got super close. Hey, That's Cubic true. Tom is in the chat. All right. Hey, All right. Oops, sorry. I trying to think if there's anything else that interesting that happened as of late. I mean, like not terribly. Nothing terribly much going on. Although I shall say that the game that I streamed a while back is about to come out. It's uh. Buster truck. Cluster truck is about to come out, and it looks amazing in its final form. Mm -hmm. It really does. Like, they actually went, like, really, really nice on the graphics, I think. Basically, they heard all the criticisms that everyone lobbied about the demo. AKA and they were Orch. like... Probably not from me. I even tweeted at them, and they never responded to it, or, like, retweeted or anything, so they probably don't care. I'm talking about the big YouTubers like Vine Sauce, Mark Plyer, those fuckers. Exactly. They would have watched Vine Sauce's video before they watched mine because that one has like two million views, probably. Exactly. What I'm trying to say is they lobbied all of the big complaints about the. And I had no complaints actually. I just thought the game was amazing. Like the only complaint that I had was that uh, the soundtrack is like one track, and I'm like, obviously that's a demo thing, you know? Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's not going to be a permanent thing for the game. I, mean, I thought even, like, just the demo itself was a very fun experience. Like, it, they could have, like, put that on the store, and it would have been fine. Neuter Branch Sonic. Oh, oh, you know what would be even better? Tammy the Tardigrade. That's a fucking Sonic character. Tammy the Tardigrade? Yes. The you know what a Tardigrade is, right? I really don't. Uh, look enough, no. though. I got so close to beating him, and now I'm not even getting anywhere near beating him. Don't worry, you will soon. Is it microscopic? Yes. Oh, okay. Fun. It's not little fun. Fucking... So, so, there's gonna be, uh, so many characters in the Sonic universe. I wouldn't be surprised if there's a Perry the Paramecium. To be honest. They've really, like, stopped making, like, new characters, though. I think they kind of learned their lesson with, like, Sonic 06. 
to where it's a bad idea to just keep on introducing like new characters. They're, it's more likely that they're just going to like remake personalities and designs of like already existing characters if they want to do something new. And which, all the loading screens. I mean, like, okay, so check it out. I mean, like Sonic Mania, like they're going extremely normal and safe with that because it's just Sonic Tails and Knuckles. <laughs> Hamper the amoeba. <laughs> Jesus. But yeah, tardigrades, interestingly enough, are also in their own phylum. So that's pretty fucking interesting. Yeah, it's back like, when like Sonic Sammy was the still three-toed sloth. <laughs> back when Sega was still trying to figure out like what to do, they were making like a lot of random animal ass animals. So you got stuff like the big bird. You got the armadillo guy, whose name I forget. Fang, I believe. No, Fang was uh, the fox. the alligator. No, no. that's Vector. That's Vector. No, Fang like the, the sniper. Excuse me. The entire <laughs> yes, like... because he's like also called Knack the Weasel. He's a weasel, but he's actually a sniper. That's his animal class. Ah. He's actually really a sniper. You know, like back in that era, they you know were the famous like, animal, the sniper. We're going to make all kinds of freaking animals and characters, but I don't think that they're going to be doing that that much The thing that nowadays. really tripped me out the most is, during the 90s cartoon was the fact that Jaleel White, the guy who played Steve Urkel, was the voice of Sonic the Hedgehog. I mean, like, it was both just because cartoons! He was, it was just because he was popular. <laughs> Not, like, here's the thing, I would get it for, like, the like mockery cartoon but for the serious time like my friends are all dying this is a rebel resistance we are all going to be murdered and turned into robots by this evil overlord with fucking red eyes and ultimate power wait there are three okay yes i was talking about adventures of and like sonic satam and then sonic yeah. underground Oh yeah, Sonic, Sonic, Sonic Underground, Underground you thing. forgot because it's awful. <laughs> and nobody watched it, and nobody liked it if they did watch it. <laughs> yeah. The Joel Vine is... Sauce has been talking about Sonic Underground a fair bit because he's he was showing off clips in his stream. Whoa, I got two achievements! Bad, showing oh, off nice. just how bad the animation is. Oh, you actually beat the game? Yeah. Was yeah, even watching? Did. Dang it. I did. Oh, hey, look, you got the speedrunner achievement for Final Dreadnought 4. That's kind of funny. <laughs> that means you beat the level in, like, three minutes or something. Or whatever it is, probably more like... About ten, maybe? Mm. Let me see, I can just go into the goddamn achievements list and see what it is. All right, Final Dreadnought 4, you have to beat Final Dreadnought 4 in under eight minutes. Because huh. that, game, that level is just so long that even speedrunning it takes a long time. Yeah. yeah, so, Maiku, you did a pretty good job, all things considered. Yeah. Koba made Lad listen to the Sonic Underground OST. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, Sad, I miss Koba Beach. I really do. Okay, so follow him on Twitter. He's always on Twitter. He's amazing on Twitter. Just do it. Okay. It's okay. Uh, let me see. I can link his Twitter, honestly. I couldn't save it. I couldn't even stop him from getting away. Uh, he is. It is a catchuar on Twitter. Skips keeps repeatedly linking the like the same comic everywhere he goes. But it's amazing, so I can understand why. I know it's a, a, it's an amazing comic, but is, like still, is it, is it the goofy comic with the hats? Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> the art style is what makes it hilarious, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Dolan Duke or something. Whatever, whatever. Thank you. Our mission is complete. So now that you've beaten uh, Carol's story, Maiku, what are you going to do next? Mila's story? Or, since we have everybody here, we can also just go on to trying out Castle Crashers. Although doing that off the cuff might not be the best idea without like setting things up beforehand. But 
We could do Cats Crash if you want, because it's that's ultimately up to Mike. Well, we, yeah, we, we, need, up. we need a fourth, though. We don't need a fourth. <laughs> it's probably going to be harder to set up if you have a fourth, by the way. Remember, mm -hmm. the schedules can conflict a lot. I know. Yeah, I'm always free. Bork is... Anytime that I'm not sleeping. Yeah. Which actually mm. intersects into the day sometimes. Yeah, I'm almost <laughs> literally every day free. You're, per, Maiku, with you, it's like basically being there on stream with us two will pretty much complete it. Besides, the runaway, like, no, wait, no, they played it with Super Genius. Whatever, you can play it with two to four. So, three, like, you can play it with one person even. Yeah. Also, um, Maiku, I do want to mention, um, the more players that you have, the thinner the experience gets spread. Mm -hmm. That's kind of an important thing to note. So yeah, totally up to you. What do you want to rather do? Do you want to do Mila's story or do you want to start up uh, Castle Crashers? Well, I'd like to actually see how Mila's story begins. Okay, okay. To be honest with you. That's totally fine. Mm. Yeah, it's totally fine. It's to no, it's actually totally fine. <laughs> I've beaten this fucking game of, like a grand total of four times on different computers. Yeah. Which one? Castle Crashers. <laughs> I keep on beating it and beating it and beating it and the progress never gets saved! Even <laughs> beat the fucking... Ooh. Lat's suggestion is to play Minesweeper, but I think that's a little too... I think that's a little too exciting after... Like, I think that's a yeah, little too exciting. my head would explode, I think. Just Cause, like those mines! Because I'm, I'm genetically prone to having an aneurysm, so, you know. There we go. Oh, jeez. Yes. <laughs> that, that just went a little too dark. Yes. Reel it back, reel it back. Reel it back. <laughs> what I was going to suggest is Spider Solitaire, but um, mm -hmm. that might not make for that entertaining of a stream because, yes. you know. Oh, I know! 3D Spaceball. 3D Pinball Space Cadet! <laughs> Thank you. Well, here's the thing I'm running Windows 10 now. Don't have Download it! it. People, make, I, people did remakes of 3D Pinball Space Cadet. Back sooner than you think. Until then, just take care of yourselves. The world needs you. See you around, spaceman. Like legit, people have made mods to make it possible to play it on Windows 10. Mm -hmm. Hi, See you soon. Yeah, if only I could get Bejeweled 3 to play on Windows 10. I've been getting fatal error messages ever since I upgraded to Windows 10 when I tried to play Bejeweled 3. Jeez. Been bugging also, Bork left. Me. I think his internet went out. I hope that's it, you know. Yeah, probably, because yeah. It's, like he's offline now. Okay, yeah. Windows 7, 8, and 10. Install the classic 3D, baseball, 3D pinball space cadet game. Oh my god. Well, thank you very much, Carol. I appreciate that. I forget the characters talk in the credits, so. <laughs> but at least Carol's nice about it. <laughs> Meanwhile, Brevin's just gonna be like, I fuck you. <laughs> I'm gonna check and make sure that 3D spa 3D Spaceball Pin Cadet. I keep on messing that up so <laughs> badly. Pixel art by Carl Douglas, the the Kung Fu fighting Carl Douglas, that guy. Well, I don't think so. I I know. 
But it'd be so awesome if it was. Can you imagine? Like in his old, like in his old age, he just decided, you know what? Mm. I'm gonna do sprite art for video games. Like in his seventies, he just decided, you know, keep his mind active. You know. Yeah, exactly. Mm. He just decided, you know what? This is this is what I don't want to do with my life. Nothing <laughs> else. <laughs> yes. Nothing else matters to me. Mm -hmm. Hey, look at all those people. All those people in the credits, my goodness. Yeah, those are and Kickstarter those backers. And those 1,105 sure. of the Kickstarter backers, wowee. I hope I get mentioned in the credits of Shinmu 3, maybe, I don't know. You will. Okay. Because that, like, even if you donated, like, a single fucking dollar, it's pretty much guaranteed yeah, that that'll get you in the credits. Yes. Let's see, here come the game stats. Dragon Valley spent nine minutes in there. No deaths. 31 minutes in Relic Maze, five deaths. 11 minutes in Fortune Knight, no deaths. Sky Battalion, almost 23 minutes, eight deaths. Jade Creek, 28 minutes, 13 deaths. Thermal Base, 33 minutes, 10 deaths. Trap Hideout, 31 minutes, 11 deaths. Battle Glacier, 34 minutes, 18 deaths. Final Dreadnought 1, 35 minutes, 16 deaths. Final Dreadnought 2, 33 minutes, 29 deaths. Final Dreadnought 3, 18 minutes, 10 deaths. Final Dreadnought 4, 23 minutes, 22 deaths. 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 D-E-A-T-H-S. Deaths, not depths. Damn it, tongue. Cooperate with my brain! <laughs> So yeah, I set out what I wanted to do tonight and finish Carol's story. Well, so you I did it! Yeah, I did it. So I think I am going to end it here. I mean, we can do something after, after the stream if you're up for it. Absolutely. Okay. So, uh, first off, I want to thank uh, Lunatic Quark for coming in. I want to thank uh, Pika Bread for being in earlier. And I want to thank Luca Trupa. Luca Trupa, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. And thank you, Borch, for being a uh, part of the stream. It's always uh, great to have you around. And thank you, Doofy, for jumping in last second. I should, like, I should probably be thanking you. And apologizing at the same time. All right. Anyway, that's going to do it for this stream. Hope you'll join me next week. Hopefully at the same time to start Mila's story. Until then, remember that there's somebody out there that cares about you no matter what, okay? Remember that. Remember it. Remember. It is very important remember. that you remember that. Yes, very important. Well, yes, very important. All right, now I'm ending the stream.